A successful acting career is never easy to achieve. Not now, and definitely not in the 80s. But somehow, popular 80s actress Bobby Breesey charmed her way into millions of hearts through her acting on screen, and not in the usual way you would expect. But before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, do leave a comment below saying I subscribed, and we'll do our best to personally reply to your comment. Bobby was not your average actress. One of the most defining things about Breesey is her uniqueness and how she shot up in the acting industry without doing what a lot of other actresses were doing. Back then, actresses always had intense sex appeal, and it was hard to find an actress that was not incredibly beautiful or unique. Now, Breesey had all of these qualities, but she was on the big screen not as a sexy diva in the most common context, but instead she made it to the big screen through playing a ravenous demoness that preyed on people. Yep, that's right. Bobby Breesey was incredibly terrifying. Not your everyday actress, wouldn't you agree? But alas, it was this uniqueness that made her a star. Also, unlike most other actresses, Breesey didn't care much. She embraced whatever made her unique and even enjoyed what she did. As a result, she was in almost all of the horror movies of the 1980s. You can only imagine how hard it would have been to get so famous and well-known through scaring people. Mausoleum was the feature movie that brought Breesey into the limelight in 1983 where she played a sweet young lady possessed by a sexually voracious demon. And with her look, you can imagine the traction that movie got. Worked a lot of other interesting jobs before her acting career. Well, she may have had an unusual career for an American actress in the 80s, but like most other actors and actresses, Breesey started from unlikely beginnings. A career in Hollywood was not always her plan, but she was beautiful, gorgeous, and sexy. Born on September 19, 1947 in San Diego, California, and before her acting career, Breesey dabbled in a lot of other things. She was a music teacher at one point, and then a Playboy bunny appearing in a lot of magazine covers and showing off her skin and curves before eventually gracing the screens starring in those horror flicks in the 80s. Now, despite all of these career jumps, Bobby later commented that she loved to act in horror movies, and it was what made her happy and feel fulfilled. Nominated for Best Actress If you see any of her movies, you would find it not so surprising that in 1984, Bobby Breesey went on to score a nomination for Saturn Awards Best Actress for her amazing acting in the film Mausoleum, which was released exactly the previous year of her nomination. It was one of the finest works Breesey had ever been in, and she had noted severally that the film was one of her best yet. The Saturn Awards apparently agreed with her, as her nomination came a year after the film was released. Talented on and off screen. Now, most people know Bobby Breesey through her acting on screen and perhaps press conferences and seeing her in events, but what people don't realize is that Breesey's talent did not end on screen. Secondly, through her horror flicks and movies, she was always portrayed as a scary demon or evil villain of some kind. But what most people don't realize is that Breezy had an amazing and charming personality and happened to be an excellent pianist as well. She had been since she was a child, and that was what allowed her to get a job as a music teacher before her plunge into acting. Furthermore, expressing another of her talents, acting. Worth millions of dollars. Breesey's net worth is a testament to exactly how hardworking and industrious she is. Now, this is one of the great juicy parts here. Another thing most people don't realize about Bobby Breesey is that even back in the 80s, she was rich enough to be worth a whopping $1 million, and that was minus taxes. And even today, she's still worth about a $1 million or so. Pretty impressive, wouldn't you say? Impressive rankings to date. Well, Bobby Breesey is about 74 years old, and even after so many years, is ranked among the top 13,000 popular actresses in the world. Pretty great for an actress who was only active in the 80s. However, while the statistics of her exact actress rankings may differ depending on who you ask, it is still certain that Bobby was highly respected in the movie industry, and still is. Bobby had incredible acting range. So even though she was most famous for her acting in horror movies, Bobby Breesey's acting was not only limited to emitting fear in several movie roles, 
brought out different parts of her. While Bobby played a young lady possessed by a voracious demon in Mausoleum, she also showed her comedic side in Surf Nazis Must Die. She was back to her Playboy Bunny sexy side in the movie called Ghoulies, and Bobby took on a semi-autobiographical starring role where she played faded and aging B-movie starlet who transforms into a murderous humanoid insect monster after taking an experimental youthful serum in the amazing but terrifying movie called Evil Spawn. Recurring roles in soaps and TV show cameos. Fabrice well, appeared on the TV shows as a guest in Charlie's Angels, BJ and the Bear, The Love Boat, Simon and Simon, and The Fall Guy. She also had a recurring part on the popular daytime soap opera Santa Barbara. Now, this all goes to show that apart from her superb roles in horror movies, she was well-loved and asked to be on several other shows to come talk about herself and her career. She also played a lot of cameos in other great movie series, and if nothing else, this tells of her incredible range and lovable personality. Bobby Breesey was the first Wonder Woman. Now, as part of her first roles in her acting career, Bobby Breesey starred in The Wonder Woman. Alongside Charlie's Angel and Love Boat, these movies started her acting career. She was also a horror fan. Well, let's face it, most actors and actresses only push so hard because it pays the bills. They say they love what they do, but not so much. Now, Brisey was different, however, and it's odd that any actress would love starring in horror movies as opposed to sexy romance movies. But check this out. Bobby Brisey was once asked what she thought about horror and working in the horror industry, and this was her reply. That would be wonderful. I would in a minute. That's where I got my break, and there is an allegiance, and I would stick with it. Vincent Price didn't do so bad with it. I feel I've got a bit of a following in the genre, and I don't want to lose that. It's wonderful. I could get old, and it wouldn't matter. I could just get ugly and be a character. She was a red carpet queen. So when it came to the red carpet, Bobby Breesey was an absolute showstopper. She especially liked to dress in black and reveal her curves and skin. Every event and red carpet talked about her outfit for weeks. It didn't take a genius to realize that Bracey was a diehard fashionista and she always insisted on wearing something unique, flattering, and eye-catching to events like the gala, award shows, or even the red carpet. She had a stunning smile and she always outdressed most of her other peers. Bracey's rumored to have starred in adult movies. Okay, pause. Now, before we talk about this, know that nobody knows for sure if Bobby starred in adult movies. This seems to be another mystery that surrounds Bobby Breesey. While she did a couple of revealing modeling shoots and a Playboy bunny, it is still unclear as to whether or not she starred in adult movies before her horror acting career. All right. Which of these mysteries caught your interest the most? Let us know in the comments section below and check out the next video in this series.